we can have a cervical distraction for that patient. And for that, we're going to use the function of the cervical headpiece that goes up and down. Now, we need to strap the patient occiput prior to do that. And to strap the patient occiput, remember something, a little trick. We're going to open up the caudal section where it's elastic, should be open completely. And the cephalad section toward me should be crossed. So we're going to have the patient lay down on her stomach, her face down, and I'm going to cross that over her head. Can, can you do that for me, please? Beautiful. She's going to rest her arm. We're going to make sure that we have the two arm rest well down so that she's more comfortable. And then we will use a bolster. Very good. Are you comfortable? Good. All right. And now we're going to cross those sections, one here and the other one above, like that. Now, as they are here crossed, I just gently tape them and I can hold it and as I do that, it's going to put a stretch on her back. Now, I made a mistake. The mistake that I made is I didn't use the Velcro on the right location. So the Velcro, and you have to be careful, should be in such a way that it grips. I had one Velcro at the wrong position right here. And this can happen quite often. Excuse me, Sully, can you raise your shoulder? I got you. Yeah, I got Locked it up. And now we're ni nice and tight. Beautiful. And this should be tight on the cephalat portion. I'm ready to go. And I'm going to gently bend that. And you can see how it tights up nicely the upper cervical port. Now in certain cases, I will want to have to add a little rotation on that. And I will be able to use the rotation in the same time that I use the traction. I will be also able to raise the whole headpiece in certain type of patient, peculiarly big chested patient.